Hi everyone, this is Dr. Akash Mangokya and welcome back to my channel. So recently I have been getting so many questions on how to prepare for USMLE and what are the resources for the USMLE. Lots of people will tell you that what are the resources for USMLE but no one will tell you that how to approach them. So let me just give you an idea how to approach the USMLE resources. So in this video I'm gonna tell what are the resources, which resources are available to prepare USMLE step one. So in this video, we are going to first talk about the resources that what are the current resource from that you can prepare for USMLE step one exam. And after that, I'm going to describe how you should approach each of that resource. And at last, I'm going to say which resource is best according to me. So without any further ado, let's just get started. So these are the resource for USMLE step one. If you want to take a screenshot, then take a screenshot of this. So resources are BNB, Boards and Beyonds videos, UFAB, which is short form for UWorld, First Aid and Pathomas, third is Catchy Micro or Pharma, and fourth is USMLE RX. So these are all the resources that you should use in order to prepare for your USMLE step one. But you should know how to use them, which one you should use first and which one you should use last so that it works best for you and give you the good results. So we are going to go chronological order that which one you should use first. So first is our B and B that is our boards and beyonds video. These videos are really concise and it will give you on spot information and it resembles first aid too. So you can do your boards and beyonds video along with your first aid and it has really simple explanation. Dr. Ryan had make sure that he will elaborate things very simple way. So you will not get confused in the exam and every concept is in your mind only. But let me warn you, if you don't have basic knowledge of medicine, then you should not watch this video first. You should watch Kaplan videos first, then you should watch Boards and Beyonds video because Boards and Beyonds video are so concise. If you don't have basic knowledge of your medicine, then you won't be able to understand it. In order to get your basic knowledge, you should understand Kaplan videos first and then only you can approach for BNB videos if your basics are clear. But if you do your all Kaplan videos, I think you won't need to touch Boards and Beyond video. I'm talking about the people who have studied their university years and they are just forgetting their basics then they should open these videos and make sure that you get a tight grip on your basics. So this Boards and Beyond video will help you in your basic and your systemic knowledge too. Move on to next that is our UFAP. From UFAP it is only first aid. I'm not talking about U and P. Now you should do your first aid along with your B and B videos. Along with your BNB videos, you should do first aid. That is number one. That is number one source that you can find for USMLE. That is your first aid. Although it is not compulsory that you should only prepare from first aid, but 90% of the people study from first aid because it is so concise and so straightforward. It will not go here and there. It will give you on spot information that you will find in one single book. That's why people are preferring this book. It has so many illustration, table, pictures, and mnemonics that you will not find anywhere else. So according to me, you should stick with first aid from your first USMLE step to your last, which is step three. It will help you in all the steps. So first aid is your number one resource. Every questions that they are gonna ask in boards, 95% of those questions, it will be from this book. So you make sure that you do your first aid first. So P is Pathoma. Pathoma is for pathology. It has straight up pathology. Dr. Hussein described pathology so well that every line that you read from this book, it is so magical that if you read this book, your concept will get more sharp. And there is no here and there information. It is straight up pathology. And this book is for revision. If you have done your first aid, if you have done your boards and beyonds, then you can open this book and do your revision for pathology from this book. Because if you wanna do quick revision of pathology, you can do this book because it is only 200 pages because it is only 200 pages in 200 pages your all pathology will be covered so i highly recommend pathoma book for your usmle preparation after that we are going to move on to usmle rx usmle rx is made by first aid authors so along with your revision after you complete your first aid after you complete your bnb along with your revision you should do usmle rx to check your knowledge that where you are standing and it will also help you in your active repetitions and recalling too when you are doing the revision and you complete certain topics then at night go over those topics 
and do the USML Rx question by topic wise and it will give you the idea how USML questions can be asked. Okay, so I highly recommend to do USML Rx. After that, we have Sketchy Micro. Sketchy Micro have illustrations in a cartoon way. It will make you understand microbiology and pharmacology in so easy way that you will not forget it. Literally, catalyze positive for cat, beta hemolytic lamp. I remember everything. So I highly recommend Sketchy Micro if you are done with your microbiology and if you want to remember it and if you get hard time to remember microbiology, then I will highly recommend you to do Sketchy Micro it will give you good hold on your microbiology. You can just read about your one bacteria or study about one bacteria and then go over to your sketchy micro and find that bacteria and watch that video. You will get hold on to that bacteria so well that I have seen this picture and in this picture that was there, that was there and you will not forget any single information about that bacteria and it works phenomenal while you are solving the questions from USMLE RX. Then moving forward, it is our U of UFAP, U world. After you're done with your all revision, like all revision, then only do U world. It will be not worth it if you do your U world first, then you do your first aid. It will be not worth it. If you have knowledge of your first aid and other resources that I have mentioned earlier, then only do your U world because it will assess your knowledge that how much you know. And there you can also do the blocks like USMLE exam. So you will feel that I'm giving the real exam. It has approximate 3000 question in U world and it is so high yield. It will give you all the information whether you do your question right or wrong. If you have done the question right by just guessing, it will give you information that how this question can be answered and how this answer is not of this question so it is nice way to remember everything when you are so close to your exam and i recommend you to do 80 to 100 questions a day because then only you can do your whole u world in your last 30 to 40 days more you do u world more score you will have even though it is pass or fail i'm saying that you will have more score because it is really really high yield and one thing also that it has assessment you can assess yourself at the end of u world when you finish with your all questions questions and when you are close to your exam you can assess yourself that where you are standing right now so this is really great tool to assess yourself and getting few additional information for your exam so we have wrapped up all the resources that you will need in your USMLE step 1 exam now we are going to talk about which one is the best which one is best for you it might not be best for everyone but according to me 90 percent of the people watching this video will agree with me that this will be the best resource for usml step one so actually there is not only one there is two resource that is best for usml step one and that is first aid and u world if you have these two only you will pass the exam you don't need anything else Okay, you don't need anything else to pass the exam except this two. If you have first aid, your knowledge is good. If you have U world, your assessment is good. You can go forward and give your exam. So everyone is not that skillful. So I suggest to you that you study all those material that I have mentioned in this video. And if you have to choose two single best resource for USMLE step one exam, that is first aid and U world. So that's it for our video. If you have heard me till now, then please hit the like button because your like matters to me so much it will give me immense motivation to make this kind of video and help you guys out so please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video with some new information